I need more money each month to, to pay for you know, his activities and food and clothing, his expenses as he's getting older. Whose activities? Who's Kevin's, our son. Kevin? Okay, how old is Kevin? He's 14. 14, okay. And you need more money? He's not giving you enough money? No, um, he pays for tuition and health care, but, um, you know. Wait a minute, wait a minute. He pays for tuition? If I remember correctly about tuition, it's kind of expensive. It's not anything that's cheap. So how much is he paying in tuition? Uh, $3.95 a month. $395 a month. And you say he pays what else? Uh, for our health care. Health care? How much is health care? <coughs> um, it's uh, $185 a month. Hundred and eighty-five dollars plus three hundred ninety-five. Okay, is there anything else you want me to know? What type of activities? Well, he's um, he's joined the football team, football. Um, and then he's he plays uh, guitar. Guitar. Okay, and are, has he enrolled in those activities yet? Or yes. Okay, and you're paying for those. Yes. And you want him to pay for them? At least help. Yes. Okay. So, there isn't anything else you want to tell me before I move to him? No. All right. Sir? Yes. You pay $395 in tuition. That's correct. And is it $185 in health insurance? Because what I see, I see $85 in health insurance. It's $185. It's $185, okay. And then, what, what else? There's uh, guitar lessons, clothes, uh, whenever he stays with me, I pay for, you know, all his activities and everything else, too. So it starts to add up. Okay. <clears throat> as you can imagine. And she wants you to pay for more than that? That's, ex that's correct. I'm not understanding this, ma'am. The way that child support works is supposed to pay a certain percentage for the child, not for you to just get all scot-free and have him paying for everything. That's not how this works. I understand, but as he's getting older, his expenses are getting more. And I understand that. And what do you do for a living? I'm an administrative assistant. So you make money too, right? Yes. So it rightfully, naturally follows that you should be covering some of these expenses if, as well, correct? Yes. All right. So I'm not going to have him be responsible for each one of those things individually because he's doing a lot already. And sir, where do you work? I'm a pool cleaner. Pool clean. What do you, how much do you make a year doing that? About $45,000. All right, yeah, it's, that's, that's not how this works. I mean, did a friend of yours tell you that you can come in here and get him to, you know, run him through the slammer and have him pay everything? Did somebody tell you that? No, ma'am. Okay, well, if, were you thinking that on your own? I just wanted more help paying for this. All right, so I'm gonna need you to go ahead and pay for some of this on your own because I'm not going to make him responsible for everything. Um, what I have here, sir, I'm not sure if your employer made a mistake on your documentation, but what you provided to the court for medical insurance, I have $85, not $185. So I only can give you credit for what's in front of me. If that's an error, you can come back at any time and you know get that fixed, but I have to go with what's in front of me. So based on $45,000 a year, I have your gross at $3,600. I have your net at, $2,948.13, which would bring your child support amount to $589.63. However, considering that you do pay a lot for this child already, the Texas Family Code allows me to consider factors to deviate from what your child support amount should be. One of those factors being child care expenses. So what I'm going to do, instead of making you pay that $589.63, I'm going to make your child support $395 just to ensure that the child's tuition is covered every month. So that's your education. Your child's education is very important. So your child support is going to be based on that. So $395 a month. So you're raising my child support? No, your child support is going down. So it... it oh, okay. I'm not good at math. Yeah. <laughs> no problem. No problem. I was told there would be no math. Oh, during well, this session? So. You know, and that's one, I Sorry. thought that it would be the same thing when I went to law school. Somebody lied to me. I still have to do math. So instead of $589.63, your child support is going to be the $395 a month for the tuition that you would pay. And you, I'll of course, it. will have to keep covering the health insurance. And if you choose to pay for football and guitar, that's up to you. But ma'am, 
you need to be responsible for something. So does anybody have any questions? No, ma'am. Any questions? No. I well, this is why I like this judge. She's basically reducing the child support instead of increasing it, uh, going by what uh, her judgment is. Unfortunately, the lady that came was thinking she was going to increase the child support for her. Usually, women need to contribute too. The two of them brought the children to the world, so they have to be the ones responsible for bringing them up. It's not just the sole responsibility of a man. One of the days where only men do these things. Let me know your thoughts in the chat section. Let's continue with the rest of the video. Like, where are the men who would walk 500 miles? And I would walk 500 miles. Now you know why I was never the lead singer in any of the bands I was in. Anyway, last I knew, they were raking in the royalty still from that song they created 30 years ago that I still can't get out of my head. And then walk another 500 miles for a total of a thousand just to fall down at your door. No, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but there's no way in hell I'm singing that god-awful song to you. All kidding aside, the point I want to make is that that women often want men to meet the expectations of things they hear in songs or see in the movies. As I frequently call it, they're searching for that perfect Disneyland prince, the one that doesn't actually exist, but yet they all think does and that they deserve. Men see it for what it is, an expectation of perfection, something no one can achieve. And knowing that, why would they enter into a relationship with someone who expects that of them? Someone who actually believes a man should walk 500, 1,000, even a million miles just to be with them. Men are done playing these silly little games, ladies. Life is not a rom-com or some romantic song. Life is, well, life. And the completely unrealistic expectations that you've all set now, oh wait, sorry, the higher standards, have reached a level of absurdity that men look at it and go, yeah, no more. We're done. Especially when they realize that they're not going to get anything in return, no matter how hard they work to woo you over. Where are they at? Well, to wrap this up, where they're at is sitting home or hanging out with their buds, playing video games, playing guitar, enjoying life. No longer having to deal with the drama, no longer having to deal with the financial drain of expensive dates, only to get ghosted shortly thereafter. No longer dealing with the ridiculous expectations. Oh, sorry higher standards that you've all set. Ladies, I'm sorry to tell you, but men didn't create this situation. You did. But men have now seen it for what it is, and they're done and walking away. And the really sad part is, they ain't coming back anytime soon. Hey, we need to go outside and talk. Okay, why come you on. like that? Come on. I'm gonna bear you at work. What, are, what is going on? There you put that on Instagram. Oh, that's the comment under a post in the Greek with cheating on your husband for a hundred thousand dollars. I care about you in this relationship. How you care about me? You coming up to my job and I can lose my job. But you up here with this stupid foolishness. Stupid foolishness now. Yes, it is. So you would cheat on your husband for a hundred thousand dollars. Make it make sense. Would you do it? Heck no, because I love you and own Boy, it don't matter. It's not that big of a deal. You should not be coming to my job. It's not no big deal. Because of this. This is y'all see her.